Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. <laughs> it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But, but at the end of the day, we're telling you what's hot. Telling you. So that's another issue. Second issue, man, and this was free. I met Big Mouth. And I think you sent them to me or somebody. They they went through something and found me. Mm-hmm. And uh, He came to Nagatis. Y'all right. was in Nagatis. Right. Night. I'm going to tell you what happened with that. Yeah. He told me to get, uh, I think it was five or six artists out of New Orleans, seven artists out of BR, and seven artists out of Shreveport to be interviewed. I posted that. It was free interviews. All you had to do was pop out. Ask me how many. Or I could count on one hand how many artists got interviewed in Louisiana. And, and I told him this was a market in Washington, D.C. and North Carolina. Turn it down. Washington, D.C. and North Carolina. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Washington, D.C., North Carolina, vlogger came down here. You see what I'm saying? And none of y'all took advantage of that. So it, it's a lot. Artists, it's y'all fault, man. Like, Lafayette, I got bliss every Friday night. We book an artist, and then it's $200 to open up. $200. Come through and do your two songs. We put you in the VIP, put you in the section, get your bar and everything. $200. Nobody took advantage of that. So ask yourself what you want to, what, what, do you really want to be a rapper? Or start, are you whining and complaining and saying people don't help? Nobody around here can't say Woody ain't never tried to help you. Mm. But some of y'all music ain't jamming. Well, some of the people have paid me, and I gave, them, I gave it back. So I'm not out there just taking people money either. Mm-hmm. If it ain't, if I if it don't have potential, I could try to break it up. Cause I got a I got a DJ group with like 25, 26 DJs that DJ everywhere. Yes. So when when you tap in with me, I send it to them. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What what about what do you have to say to some artists who feel like, you know, you may you may think too much of yourself. You might think that, man, I ain't worried about this or or he not doing enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's artists that feel like that. They feel that about me or they feel that? About, about you or DJ's period. Right, right. DJ's period. The, the DJ that has the spotlight, the DJ that is, cause you, you market yourself. You right. take, I mean, photo shoes, you, hey, you do right. your thing. But you got some people, some artists or uh, foot figures might think that, or he might think he too much. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. First of all, stop meeting me on the internet. Stop meeting me with your eyes. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing. It, you, people... People have been introduced to Woody with their eyes. They have never met me, never had a conversation with me. They probably had a conversation with somebody else about me. As soon as they meet me and we really have a conversation, they hold perception change. Mm. I'm an easy dude to holler. I'm not hard to holler. I'm everywhere. I made, and that's another thing I hate. When you read a, a fucking DM and it say red and I don't say nothing back. It ain't that, I, I don't know what to say at the moment. That's it. <laughs> it ain't nothing against you. But at the end of the day, bro, like, I'm willing to help anybody and everybody, but I stopped doing a lot of stuff for the free. So the reason why I don't like to do stuff for free anymore or just for GP, and I still have, yeah, I have my picks if I want to do something, right? Mm-hmm. If I like it, right? The reason why, because when you do something for somebody for free one time, they want you to do this and that and this. Man, one dude told, man, do this, cause I, man, I need some fly. And I, like, I'm like, he wanted me to do all this stuff for him. I don't even know you on a personal level. Mm-hmm. I'm not finna sit up and, and use my time and do all this stuff for you. For what? For what? And you ain't gave me a dime. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not, uh. How you think I feel about people who want free posts from me and who feel like I, I should feel just that. do I feel, everything for oh, them? Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel that. I would be like, what? I man, feel I'm that. mad at you, or you, or, yeah. or, or, or he a whole head. What? I just told you I, what I told you today. I said, man, that challenge ought to have two hundred thousand miles on it. Oh yeah, I'll be running. And it don't. But I'm just telling you because you get up and go. A lot of people don't have a get up and go. A lot of rappers don't come to the club. They don't come to events. They don't go nowhere. So how you expect? But some of them can't. They ain't beefing. That's on their body. If you are, if you are what you say you are, you should be able to go anywhere you want to go. And not saying you should be a crash dummy or move, not move smart or nothing, but all I'm saying, you put that energy out there as yourself. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, I deal with a lot of rappers that don't deal with other rappers, right? But I'm going to tell you about me. I'm able to kind of do that because, like I told you earlier, I'm not a carrier. So I'm not going to get with this group of rappers and ask them what 
beef they got with these guru raps. Only way I know the beef because of what everybody else say. I know just as much. I get with these artists and I talk about music only. Because if I start saying stuff to benefit them and, and like I'm, I'm with them, it's gonna get out. Hey, Woody, Woody down with them. Mm -hmm. I'm down with them. No, I'm a DJ. I'm in a neutral spot to help all the artists, rap artists, all over. I'm not even just holding myself to Louisiana. I'm working with an artist right now, the Vicksburg, Mississippi. Shouts out Lil Bailey. Lil Bailey can, Lil Bailey Lil Bailey finna go. Lil Bailey, Lil Bailey finna blow. I'm telling you, Lil Bailey can blow and not, and not owe me a dime. I just genuinely help him right now. You see what I'm saying? I gene whatever I can do on the phone conversation, whatever I can do, I genuinely, I see something in this little dude, bro. And he worked. He just started rapping last September. He paid for his own travel. He paid for his own uh, uh, famous animal. He worked. You know what I'm saying? I can respect that, but I can't respect grown men won't having these free conversations. You know how they talk to you like they want to pay you something or they gonna give you something, and he's <laughs> and it's still like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look at your cash. I mean, well, ain't nothing game. But they send it. Well, let me see you this real quick, or let me see you this song, or let me. You started trying to spark up a free conversation. Well, guess what? My other time is family time. I got, I got, I got kids graduating this year. I got my daughter with me now to take. Mm -hmm. I got stuff. I got other obligations than do a lot of free stuff for grown for grown people, male or female. That's what people don't understand. So they, oh, you a DJ? You supposed to do this, nigga? I'm just not sitting in a DJ booth every day, 24 hours of my life. I have a life. Got a life. But a lot of y'all just don't work enough. You don't work. You then you stop working. And they come back, yeah, I sat out for a while. As soon as they get a buzz, they build a buzz, right. a little buzz, and then they just stop. Mm -hmm. They just stop. Now, sometimes life do happen. Life, life is going to always happen when you poor. Life going to happen when you rich. Life going to happen when you blow up. Life going to happen when you fall off. But at the end of the day, if you sleep to 3 o'clock in the evening, nothing's going to happen. If you sit around, and if you don't hustle in the streets, and you don't have a job, and you're living up on chicks, and she tired of you, or whatever the case is, that ain't life, nigga, that's you. <laughs> mm. You don't want to work because you think working a nine to five is embarrassing, and people gonna talk about you because you portrayed to be a rich rapper. Go get a job, so them chicks can fund your rap career. Okay, not, not saying it's, it's a good thing. Go get you a pound or two. Go get you a couple bottles of pills. Go do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just keeping it real. I, I'm not saying go kill nobody, rob, steal, don't break in nothing. Hey, find you a little scam. Get you some money. But don't sit around making everybody else feel bad for you because you not getting out there trying to find a way to make a way for you. That's it. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got it, too. Yeah. I got the same thing you got. I got it, too. Oh, you, got, you probably got more. You I got probably got way more problems. But guess what? I'm not whining. Oh, I got I got to do this. I got to do this. Oh, it's his fault. It's his fault. It's his fault. He should have did it. He should have did it. No, nigga, you should have did it. Yeah, he ain't post me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he didn't post yeah, me. Yeah, he ain't post me. <laughs> I had a whole conversation with G Plans, and we was going to fuck with but he ain't post the video. I sent it to his phone and everything. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. We got to change. We got to change our mentality. I, the, our people mentality is so low driven and low goal driven. You have to change your mentality. You got to believe you can do it. If you, my name is Woody Beans because hopefully one day I make a billion dollars. Mm. <laughs> that's why I call myself that. Mm. I don't have a billion dollars, but that's my mentality. When I get up in the morning, I get up at six thirty, seven in the morning, and I and I thank God, I take God bless, and I hope I have, I hope an opportunity come my way. And guess what? The phone rings. Mm. Or I get a text message. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing doing nothing. Now tell me this. We were talking. Do you so have you ever thought about man, I might just I might have to take my tennis to another market, bro. Yeah, I think about it all the time. Mm. I think about it all the time. It ain't that cause no, I'm gonna be honest, it ain't that cause don't nobody support me. I just feel like I'm starting to research this thing more. Like I look at the man, if you got DJs on a Forbes list. For sure. You got DJs with network to me. I'm talking about, I ain't never heard of them, but so I'm trying to figure out, man, there's something else out there. It, from what I'm doing, it's got to be something else out there for me to do. Or another city. So my, my homeboy, he live in uh, Santane. He said, bro, if you come out here for just a couple weekends and DJ, bro, they mess with Louisiana stuff. You come out here, man, man, they paying DJs two, three thousand dollars every other week. 
but that's on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think about that a lot. But, you know, you can't, you can't move your problems, Steve. You can't move your problems around. I can move to Atlanta and still not make it. You know how saturated Atlanta is? Um, Everybody moving to Houston to be nobody. You're somebody, you're somebody where you at. But, but you haven't done enough to where you feel like, oh, it's the city. That's why I got to leave. Mm-hmm. You can go to Houston. Houston, let me tell you something. Houston, there's some rich, real rich niggas in Houston. I ain't talking about this stuff we be playing with. It's some money over there. In Miami, it's some it's some forty eight thousand dollar a month rent, some houses. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like you moving, you gotta hey. It's always gonna be the person, bro. Mm. It's never gonna be somebody else. I, I spoke right now. I just told him. I said, man, if I'd have did it right, I would have been. I would have been just retired from the NFL. Mm. I would have been a star running back. But guess what? I can't dwell on that. It was me. It's my fault. I could have did that. I didn't choose being a DJ. <laughs> I didn't choose when I was rapping. I didn't choose none of that. But I was a fool in football. But I didn't make it. Rappers, everybody's not going to make it.